Hello everyone, welcome to English Learning with Alexandro in this YouTube channel, which is called Yes, You Can. Have been a while since the last time when I post some videos here with you or for you, but I'm back and I'm so proud of, well, about it because I, like I told you in some videos before, I have a main goal, which is learn English as fast as possible. And to do that, like I said sometimes before, we, mu we must to practice our speaking skills. It the, it's not enough to reading or just to listen a lot uh, without practicing, without its effective speaking skills. Uh, you cannot be fluent, and that is true. I believe uh, deeply on that, on it. You know. So to be honest, and to without further ahead, I'd like to start this video just reading a little story, a short story with you here, a short story. And I believe that's the best way to think in English, do you know? If you are trying to, to apply to IELTS speaking test, or you trying to test your English learning, your English skills, it would be awesome if you pay attention to it, because maybe this can help you so much. So I'd like to share my screen with you. I will share these stories with you. I don't know if you already heard about this story. Let me know in the comments below the, if you did a uh, read, if you read did, uh, I studied about this story, but it's very interesting and we can learn so many vocabularies on it, okay? So let's get started and I will start by reading for you. So the, this story is called Wise Words and let's start it. In Medina, an Arab sheikh was dying. He called his son and said, My son, I'm dying. When I die, I want you both to mount your camels and ride to Mecca. To the one whose camel arrives last in Mecca, I will leave all my fortune. With his words, the old sheikh died, and the two young men started on their journey to Mecca. They traveled very slowly, and some days, they did not travel, for they both wanted to be the last to arrive in Mecca. After about six months, they arrived at the whole site of Earth, where they met an old man who asked them where they were going. We are going to Mecca, they replied, of course. Where do you come from? asked the old man. We came from Medina, they answered. When did you leave Medina? We left six months ago. Six months ago, exclaimed the old man. But Medina is only a week's journey from Mecca. Why do you travel so slowly? Then they explained why they were traveling so slowly. The old man thought for a few minutes, then said two words to them. The two young men immediately jumped up, jumped up, and in a few minutes, they were traveling as fast as they could towards Mecca. The question is, what did the old man say to them? So that is, uh, that story, it's very important, it's very interesting because it makes us think about it. And it's a tricky story, you know when you must to understand and try to know, try to discover the answer about the last question, the, the question below, which is, uh, what did the old man say to them? Because we had a story talking about uh, wise words, which, what means, what does it mean? What wise words means? Means that appears, uh, that some phrases, which is very intelligent, you know, uh, wise is like intelligent, equivalent to like the words intelligent, smart, and things like that. And uh, that story is talking about or teaches some lessons about the uh, old sheikh, the Arab sheikh, when he was dying, he called his sons, he had both of them, he called his sons and said to them that uh, to the one who arrived last at Mecca, that so they want so but he told them uh to the uh, to the one to the whose camel arrived last in Mecca, not to them okay so the arab sheikh asked the, his son and said to them to the oh to the first camel or to the last camel arrives at Mecca, 
that kind of that person which on it, which was on it, or which will be on it, will uh, will be or will fix uh, stay with all his fortune, which was not uh, which is not little. It's very large fortune, because normally uh, that people like shakies and things like that are very rich women, very rich men. Sorry. And the story is talking about it. Uh, starts talking about why the his sons uh, traveling decided to go to Mecca. They started to travel as slowly as possible, you know, because the question was to the one to the camel to that camel who arrives last at Mecca, we will get all the fortune. We will receive all fortune. So, of course. Who, to the one who arrives first, we lost. So that starts. That seems so strange. That seems so strange story because normally when we have this competition is about uh, speed. So who the first at arrive at the city, maybe we will get, we will stay with all the fortune, with the price, you know, with the prime, with the awards and things like that. But in this situation, the Arab Sheikh was very smart person was a very smart person and decided to make his sons thinking about it how can they how they can do it how they can uh, get uh, and receive all the fortune and as they started travel as slowly as possible they some days they did not travel as they story told us so because they stay uh, they stay waiting they wait into the one to not to one another to see who you start moving first, because you know it's a competition by uh, they they thought it was a competition by slowly pace, slowly steps, but it was not. It was a trick, and you can understand if you pay attention on the next part of the story. Uh, after about six months, they were traveling for um, for probably six months. They arrive at a whole site of her where they met an old man. And that old man asked them uh, where they came from. And they said that they came from Medina. And uh, how much time they are traveling. And they said, they answered that they were traveling for almost six months. And that was very strange because six months, Medina is, uh, it was only weeks, uh, two, three weeks journey from Mecca. And uh, and after that, they explained the old man that why they were traveling so slow. And the old man, which was very smart too, but was very smart, uh, thought for some minutes, and then came to them again and said and give them an advice. And the, the, this story and that story, pay attention because that story just said that that the old man just said. Two words for them, two words for them, and after that, uh, the boat the boat sons gets uh, as fast as possible, jumping up, jumped up at her camel, his camels, and as fast as possible, go towards Mecca, going towards Mecca. And the question that the stories left for us is, what did the old man say to them? And Andy, let me know in the comments below if you know this answer. Let me know about your thoughts if you got the answer. Because uh, at the first uh, time when I read this story, I didn't know. I didn't know. Uh, I didn't know that answer. But I asked it to my wife, and my wife, uh, my wife said, um, "How can I say?" My wife, my wife, gave me the answer because she really know. I don't know how but she read the know the answer and give me and make sense after that and it's very interesting but that is not the main point of this english video the english YouTube channel i just would like to practice my speaking skills and try to explain some things with my own words and that was i did here i tried to explain by my own words here and i hope i could i hope i did and if you are not subscribed at this YouTube channel, I'd like to ask you to subscribe here with me because it would be awesome if you stay with us and give your thumbs up and help me here with your advice. And 
I really appreciate to have you here with us. Comment below, uh, ask me things, maybe try to connect with us by our social media. We have a Facebook page and we have a WhatsApp group, but that WhatsApp group is just for people who'd like to practice English daily or effectively like video conference and uh, by Zoom, we practice uh, weekly by Zoom. And if you, or by Google Meeting, if you would like to practice with us, let me know in the comments below. And I hope to see you guys. Thank you so much. I hope to see you in your next video here on the YouTube channel. Bye.